Yes, KB5, MIQ, big boy. We got a few subjects we're going to talk about today. Not a whole, hey, ham radio cat, come on up here. Uh, one thing I was going to mention, you'll see my new hat here. This ain't really ham radio related, but it's internet related. And us guys live out in rural areas, we've always had trouble getting broadband internet. And, uh, that's my daughter and son-in-law's company. I own a cable company, Directional Drilling. They're, they're gonna be putting uh, fiber optics, fiber cable, running fiber out in the rural areas now, specifically for uh, broadband internet. So, if you see any of them guys out drilling, they may be kin to me. <laughs> oh, y'all be aware of them and watch out for them when they're out there working, just like any other construction. I'm glad to see them doing that and helping uh, get the internet out to these rural areas, especially good broadband internet. I'm lucky where I live right here. I've got a 25 meg service broadband internet. Hey, ham radio cat. She has to get up here and get in the picture. But anyway, just wanted to mention that. That's my daughter and son-in-law's company. And watch it. it's a good idea to, for safety's sake, when you're out on the road, you're going to see a lot of these directional drilling rigs out and about now. So just be aware of them. Guys, I have got some really good news for ham radio. And this doesn't happen often. Uh, this is going to be just as good. The McCurtain County Amateur Radio Club up here just north of me in Oklahoma would like to welcome November 5 HWL, the Hayworth Lions Amateur Radio Club, to their hobby. This is Hayworth High School, Hayworth, Oklahoma. They've got a group of students that's already got an ARRL approval and a call sign for their club. Um, I'm tickled to death to see students doing this. And if y'all ever hear N5HWL on the air, please work them, give them words of encouragement because it is so good to see kids out into this when so many of them are just into gaming and cell phones. We'll try to support them any way we can. I've been in contact, trying to get in contact with our president now about getting some books to them, and uh, I'll keep y'all updated on that. But again, congratulations, Hayworth High School, for uh, having a bunch of kids that want to support this hobby. And again, November 5, Hotel Whiskey Lima. Hope to work y'all soon. That is great news. Guys, I've had an interesting time on FT8. Um, Still, still learning a lot about it, and I've made a lot of contacts with it. Uh, I'm going to shout out to a few hams that's give me input and help on it, of course. My tech support, K1ENT Kent, uh, Whiskey Alpha 3, Lima X-Ray Delta, Whiskey 4, Golf Sierra Sierra, and Kilo Bravo 5, Golf Bravo Charlie. They've all reached out to me with uh, tips on FT8. And it's like anything else that you do, you're gonna to have to spend some time with it and understand it. I had some working out a few little quirks here with this older radio, trying to get it up and rolling good. And uh, I've had a good time with it. I really have. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna stay on FT8. And I, this is a borrowed rig. I'm fixing to try JS8 call out next. I've got the program downloaded. I haven't worked with it much. I'm gonna get with Adam maybe tomorrow afternoon if he's available and uh, try to work some JS8 calls, see how that works. Didn't realize how many digital modes we have available now. And I am by no means a person to ask about digital modes. But check out W5ITR Digital Rancher, Robert's YouTube channel. 
fact, he's got a live video on there. Went up last night where he was participating in Hellfest. And hell is another digital mode. I was researching it a little bit. Uh, don't know a thing about it. I'm going to try a JS8 call, and I'm probably going to try some PSK here before I send this radio back. Uh, digital modes, like I've said before, I enjoy a two-meter packet because it was still kind of a personal interaction. You could leave messages and just chat, like instant messaging chat we do on the phone on phones now. FT8, I can see how people who are really, really into computers really get into this. Uh, I can also see why the ARRL did not want to recognize FT8 for field day. Now, I'm not knocking FT8, guys. I'm not. But I can see where you could not get. Just make yourself at home there. <laughs> I can see where... It wouldn't be real practical for emergency use with these just four generated messages <laughs> and, and you're done with it. Um, yeah, can't. <laughs> it is, it's fun to get countries you've never worked in. I've seen countries on FT8 I've never heard on, on single sideband phone. I saw China the other day, uh, South Korea. I've worked Angola. Uh, the Netherlands, several other countries I've never worked or never heard on on a single side cat single side band. But Indian <laughs> ham radio cat you gotta move. Well this video's gonna be a bust. I see that already. But guys, you know, I'm not ever gonna knock a mode we've got. I prefer single side band voice contacts. Uh, we that's just what we bunch of us prefer. Jeff come up, W5HKV, he's the oldest ham we got. I'm the oldest in age, but he's the longest serving ham we've got in the in the group. And uh he said he he was in he impressed with it, but he said he gonna stick with uh, his paper log and phone and CW, which that's great. That's what I've said about this hobby all along. But there's so many aspects of it you can get into. You don't have to do everything in it. Just pick out what you like, what you can afford, and enjoy it. Um, just lost my train of thought here. There was something else I was fixing to mention. Maybe I'll think of it. I'll rattle on here just a bit longer. Maybe I'll think of it. Uh, again, keep that school call sign in your mind. And if you hear them on, let's give, give them kids all the support we can. And if you ever get another school thing going send me the info on it i'll show mention it on here and also i try to mention uh ham fest if i know about it in plenty of time i, I caught parker county and put it up Minden is happening here real quick i may not have time to even get anything up about it but if you've got a ham fest in the area let me know anything about it i'll be glad to put it on here Guys, we hit 1082 on subscribers. We're still growing along. We hit 1100. I got a little giveaway we're going to do. Y'all remember Main Trading Company in Paris, Texas? Uh, got all kinds of gear on there. His used gear is growing all the time. He picked up a bunch of stuff down there in Belton, and he's got a good, good list of used gear constantly on there. Thanks again to everybody who subscribed. This is KB5MIQ Big Boy with Old Ham Radio Cat, 73.